Hi guys, my name's Dawn from Flips by Dawn on Instagram. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to decoupage fabric onto furniture. In case you didn't know that you could do that, you absolutely can. So I recently redid a cabinet for a client of mine and the results were so good. So I decided I would basically make a little video to show you guys how I achieved this look. And so here it is. So let's get going. This is the beautiful wood veneer display cabinet I recently worked on. I started by giving this piece a really good cleaning, just using sugar soap and a dish scrubber. Cleaning furniture prior to painting is an essential step that you shouldn't overlook. Despite it being relatively clean as my client was actively using it, there is still a buildup of oils and dirt that you can't see that could potentially sabotage your paint job. Here's my proof guys, just clean that furniture. Next, I taped up the glass in an effort to minimize the amount of paint I'd get on the glass. My client chose the color black, and so I'm using Coal Black by Fusion Mineral Paint, which is my favorite brand. I started with the shelves and the inside and worked my way around. With my first coat, my aim isn't to get a full coverage, but just a layer of paint. After my first coat, I noticed the ring watermark on the top of the cabinet had come through. This ring mark came through the paint, so I've just lightly sanded and um, I'm going to try and apply some Dixie Belle Boss um, and see if that will help it when I put the second coat down. This is Dixie Belle's Boss. This is what it looks like. I gave it a good stir and poured it into a cup, added some paint to tint it. It dries clear, but the paint will give it an extra layer of pigment. I taped up my roller to remove any loose debris and applied the stain blocker with a roller as it's a nice flat surface. As you can see after the second coat, the ring mark is gone as a primer has blocked it. This stuff is really good guys. If you want a clear stain blocker, Boss by Dixie Bell is what you're going to want to get your hands on. After the second coat, I applied a wax varnish finish by Polyvine. It goes on milky but dries clear. This stuff is really easy to apply, plus it's water-based, very durable, and an excellent finish in my opinion. Next, deco. I applied some gold gilding wax by Redesign with Prima, just as a highlight on the details, to break up the black and give it a little bit of a wow factor. You can apply with your fingers or a paintbrush, essentially it's a gold colored wax meaning it's waterproof, so no need to protect it with anything else. Next, let's get to that decoupaging fabric onto furniture. So to get the material ready, um, to, I would recommend washing the material first. Um, no fabric softener or anything, just a general wash. After I washed it and it dried, I then ironed it. Um, and basically for this piece, because it's only a demonstration piece, um, I haven't ironed the bottom half. As you can see here, it's nice and smooth, but it's still a bit wrinkly down here. So what I did with the original one, because it was a huge cloth, I taped it down at the bottom. And then basically I pulled this back and I started the decoupaging from, 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 from down here. And then I worked my way up each time, just making sure everything was nice and taut. But here, that's exactly what I'll do. So I've taped, taped it up. Okay, obviously you wanna make sure that it's nice and straight. You wanna do your measurements. Um, and then basically we're good to go. Okay, I recommend using Mod Podge, um, the hard coat. Um, and so basically I have put some foil down in a paint tray so I don't have to wash the paint tray. And I will just Pour some glue. I've already stirred the glue, so be sure to stir the glue well because obviously everything that sits at the bottom. Um, then you need a brayer and a good paint brush. Okay, so you pull this back. And you want to apply the glue on both the fabric 
and the wood. So here it goes. So imagine that I'm starting this at the bottom. So you apply your glue in small sections. Now we've got both glue on the fabric and on the wood. So basically all I'll do is push this down and use my brayer just to flatten everything. The glue is white but it dries clear. So now I have finished applying the glue. Um, basically all you do is just the same thing and you repeat it until the cloth is uh, finished. Um, so now I'm going to go ahead and remove this tape. Hi guys, so I'm back 24 hours later and it has stuck beautifully. Okay, notice all the white marks on the glue have gone and I'm just going to show you how strong it actually is. See, I'm actually tugging at it right now. Okay, and it's not budging. So at this point, you can go ahead and remove the tape. And then obviously the area of the tape that's below the tape hasn't been glued. So you would then obviously do exactly what we did before um, to the to the section that's under the tape and leave that to dry and yeah you're good to go next you could as an option add some varnish to it to um, see this is a clear but satin finish so obviously with a satin finish you'd get a bit of a luster to it and how you would apply that is it's just with a with a with a really nice brush a smooth brush at this point also you could as an option obviously you wouldn't want the borders um, of the material showing so you could go right ahead and put a ruler along the edge of the painting on the material and with a Stanley knife you could easily cut away this white border and if you wish like if you would like obviously to paint the board you simply have to take some tape okay you would line the tape up with the edge of the painting on the fabric right and this would give you the freedom so at this point we assume that the white part is gone okay because you've cut it off and this by putting down the tape it would give you the freedom to just paint accurately um, which is what I did I painted it black I'm happy with a matte finish okay so how easy was that guys that was super easy um and so there you have it that's how I did it and these were the final results leave me a like if you found this video useful and I'm happy to answer any questions in the comment section below Thanks for watching. Bye.